On 7th October 2023, 5,000 rockets were fired towards Israel by Hamas, a militant group from the Gaza Strip, in just 20 minutes. As a result, Israel's Iron Dome system, one of the best defense systems in the world, was in action. The Iron Dome system is known to intercept and destroy rockets in the air, and that's what it was doing on the morning of 7th October. But this time, Hamas managed to breach the defense system. which resulted in one of the most severe escalations in the Israel-Gaza conflict. How did Hamas manage to beat the Iron Dome system? First, we need to understand exactly what the Iron Dome system is and how it functions. The Iron Dome system is a ground-to-air, short-range air defense system deployed to counter rocket attacks, mortars, artillery shells and unmanned aerial vehicles at short range. It has a range of approximately 70 kilometers and has been protecting Israel since 2011. How does the Iron Dome system work? When a rocket is fired toward Israel, the detection and tracking radar detects the incoming trajectory and relays the information to the weapons control system, which performs fast, complex calculations to detect the trajectory, speed and expected target of the rocket. When the rocket is targeted towards a populated area, the inbuilt missile launcher fires the Tamir missiles and detonates it mid-air with minimal damage on ground. The manufacturer of the Iron Dome system, Rafael Advanced Defense System, claims it has a success rate of more than 90% and has over 2,000 interceptions till now. But what happened this time? How did the Iron Dome system fail? For several years, Hamas has been trying to find a weakness in the Iron Dome system. One of the ways to breach the Iron Dome is by launching multiple rockets in a short period. Hence, it becomes difficult for the control system to intercept all targets. As a result, some missiles get neutralized and some escape and cause destruction. This time, over 5,000 rockets were launched in just 20 minutes. Obviously, the Iron Dome was overwhelmed. It failed to intercept all targets. As a result, many missiles landed in Israel, leading to the loss of lives and property.